Hey, it's AAA, and welcome back to Minecraft Achievement Hunting. Hashtag hardcore. Um, I found a, I found a spawner at the end of last episode, and we're going to deal with that now. Also, I looked at some of the achievements I need to do, and there's some tricky ones I need to work on this episode. Some that are easier, some that are quite tricky. First, I need to clear this dungeon. Man, there's a lot of mobs in there. I have an idea on how to kill them, though. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, this is a lot of zombies. I keep forgetting I can spam click. What I should probably do is block off the water, because the water is letting them get to me really easily. And I'm out of, I'm out of cobble. R.I.P. There we go. This spawner is my main priority at the moment. Can't quite reach that. Hi. <laughs> that guy's a cool helmet on. What I need to do is... Place a block there. Torch there. I have to survey how many zombies I'm dealing with here. And try and block off that if I can. There we are. So now this will give them a route to me. Boom. Dungeon conquered. Let's see our loot, shall we? Golden apple. Some iron string. Some gunpowder and some rotten flesh. I actually have a rotten flesh related achievement I can do, so I'm gonna grab that. We have some wheat that can get us our bake bre break bread. Uh, rotten flesh, a name tag, bones, another bucket, saddle. Okay, I'm gonna leave the chests for now at least. And there's some gold. Nice new ore for us in this series. There we are. Another carrot. Nice gather up the gold. I don't think there's a golden apple related achievement besides curing a villager. Which will give you achieve. But for that you need more than just a uh, golden apple. You also need a potion of weakness. Splash potion of weakness to be specific. Which would require us to go to the nether. Theoretically you can go to the nether without diamonds but it's way harder to. But that could actually be kind of a fun thing to do. One thing I actually need to do for a specific achievement is I need to not eat. And I have to start taking starvation damage. Yeah, <laughs> it's a weird one. It's a weird achievement. But what I have to do is I have to take starvation damage and then stop the starvation damage using rotten flesh. It's one of those kind of achievements that's like very specific, but it's not hard once you know of it. Once you know what it is, it's not too hard. It's just a matter of like... Why is that something that you would have to do unless you're, like, starving to death, and normally, and you have nothing else but rotten flesh? The achievement name is quite cool. It's called Iron Belly. So that's one we can probably do. Also, I have to use wood to... I have to cook wood using charcoal to make more charcoal. <laughs> that's another achievement we can do. And our third achievement we can go for today, besides going for diamonds... Realistically, should probably be shear a sheep. That'd make the most sense because we need a bed, anyways. But that will probably that would require us to go above ground. I'm not sure if I want to do that quite yet because I think it's nearing nighttime on the surface. If not nighttime already, let's go up here. It's in here. Ah, hello. Is that a slime I hear? For a second then, I thought I heard a slime. I hear a skeleton, for sure. Yeah, I hear the skelly. One other thing I could do is, I need a bow and arrow. There's two achievements that are bow-related I could do. There's Sniper Duel, 
which is where you have to long-range kill a skeleton with a bow. And then there's achievement for just straight-up killing a creeper with a bow and arrow. So if he drops his bow, we'll be in a good spot. No. No bow. No bow? No bow. I can make a bow, I guess. That would probably be smarter. Or I could fish one up. Because fishing is something else I have to do soon. Because there's a couple achievements related to fishing now with Update Aquatic. The most important one, would, the easiest one, I guess, is to catch and cook a fish. I have fish already that I got from the chest. I don't think it'll count because it, all, it specifically says catch and cook, not just cook a fish. You have to specifically catch it, then cook it. At least that's how it's worded. It may not actually work like that, but that's how you should work. Hello. There we go. We got a bow. How's its durability? Not that bad. Can we repair with string in our crafting? No, we can't. Okay. So now we have a bow and one arrow. So if we come across a creeper, we have a method of achievementing it. Using it for an achieve. Let's grab some more iron and then find our way back to our little temporary camp. I'm really enjoying this kind of like speed style of Minecraft. I haven't done it in far too long. Also, I've been watching a couple of Nettie's UHC streams, which is part of what inspired me to do this. That's our stone pickaxe gone. UHCs may be something I try on the channel at some point soon. I don't know. I haven't decided if, I, if I'm too hot on the idea or not. One thing I did decide, though, is if we get to a point where we're near death and we have low hunger, or if like, we start to get low on health, I will eat the bread and not get the achievement. Because it's more important I live than I get the single achievement. Because we could always get that achievement another time, another way. That does not involve us dying. Because if we die, game over, I delete the world. Or I keep the world and then it becomes a stream thing. I don't know which it'd, it'd be. It'd probably be the latter. Oh, hi. Please drop some arrows. Ooh, that hurt, actually. That hurt quite badly. Let's go over here, I think. I'm out of torches. And I'm out of coal. You know what? Now's a good time to go back. I shouldn't overextend myself too much. Also, I was looking through the achievement lists, and some of these... I so wish I had a potion of weakness for you right now, dude. I'd be the happiest camper in the world if I had one of those. But I don't have one of them. Sorry. So you is gonna die. Here's a golden-helmeted zombie. I have a couple buckets, so I'm gonna use one... I don't have my water bucket anymore, do I? No, I use that to get down here. So I'm gonna grab this bucket of I'm gonna make this a bucket of water if I can come on come on come on there we are uh oh oh that hurt that hurt badly okay that was not good oh I'm really worried now uh. <laughs> Because if I die, it's over. And that would be so disappointing if I died just because I was going for a specific achievement and I couldn't do it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay then. No, bad water. Protect me. Protect me, water. Goodness, you're terrible at your job. Here's an iron, a gold helmeted zombie who we can kill. And there's the helmet. He, he actually dropped the helmet, which is cool. Yoink. Let's put it on, actually. There we go. We're rocking the gold crown. I'm out of torches, which kind of stinks. There was our way down. I think. Or is that our way? No, that is. I think. I really hope it is, because I'm about to climb it. Yeah, this is it. Let's 
Da 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 da, we survived! And we are at the point where we can no longer run. That's a good sign. I can eat soon. <laughs> I still find that it's a very weird achievement, but I kind of like it at the same time. Just like, cure your starvation by eating a dead person. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay, game. Minecraft in your darker undertones. Also, I'm kind of hoping to see a creeper. How many arrows do I have? Three? It's not too bad. That's enough to kill a creeper. Even with an unenchanted bow. Especially if I do a swing and a shoot. A swing shoot. I realize I didn't turn off Minecraft music so like I can hear like the Minecraft music in my ear. And I don't normally have it on. But it's kind of nice to have it on for a change. Did I just walk in a complete circle? I think I may have. No, I didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> I was very worried I did. See, what would have been smart as me is to memorize the coordinates of where we were. That would be smart. <laughs> oh, here we are. I remembered. Hooray! Oh, I can't even do the cool, fun, divey swimming because I'm that low on hunger. Alright, so let's grab all the iron out of here. What I need to do is I need to make some charcoal. Let's make a little bit of charcoal. No, actually here. What we should do is, yeah, use the axe. Use the old axe to cook up a little bit. There we go. Now you continue that. I throw in the charcoal and the wood, and then we'll get the achievement. Uh, let's start cooking this iron while I start building my gear. I need chest plate, pants, and helmet for Iron Man. Oh, that cheers. Pants and helmet. So any second we will get that achieved. That's that's a bucket. <laughs> Not. Oh, I should have got a button, a bucket of lava to do the cooking. So we should have two achievements rolling in. There is Iron Man for the full iron armor. And then we should also have the other one rocking in any second. There it is. Oh, it's a rare achievement. Renewable energy. For smelt wood, smelt wood trunks using charcoal to make more charcoal. There we go. I didn't expect that to be a rare achievement because it's not very hard to do. But alas, it was a rare. I'm not going to argue. That'll probably be the last bit of charcoal we get from that. Or maybe maybe you'll do the full thing. I don't know. It'd be nice because then we can use this furnace immediately to start smelting gold. Which would be pretty ideal. Yep. So we can throw then that and that. And we can start getting gold. What I should do now... I should probably start making my way up to the surface. So actually, what I'll do is, is I'll remove these, let them burn out, and then, there we are. What else can I make from iron that I need to make? Oh, I need to make a hoe. I need to make an axe for one thing, and I need to make a hoe for another. And that should give us the one for uh, more tools. That should give us more tools. Yep, there it is. Time to farm. Oh, that's for the hoe, and then it should then give me the next one. There it is. I'm going to start making my way up to the surface now, I guess. Which would make sense. It's weird that I'm trying to starve for this achievement. Like, it almost makes sense, but at the same time, it's just like, why? <laughs> why do I want to starve? Also, having my health this low really worries me. In 
realistically, I should start keeping that golden apple in my hotbar. In case something catastrophic is about to happen and I need to quickly eat it to survive. Uh, let's ditch the one raw fish. I feel like that's worth ditching. The one raw salmon. The one raw salmon. It's a cave. I hear a pig and I'm in a cave. It's a good sign. That means we're close to the surface. Very close to the surface, in fact. Also, I'm still kind of hoping to see a creeper. First time I've ever wanted to see a creeper, and yet I can't find any. Also, while I was looking through the achievements, I'm going to need either a Wither Skull, for one, or a Charged Creeper. Probably the Wither Skull will be easier, believe it or not. Oh, there's a piggy. Here's your piggy wig. There's actually a pig-related achievement I could probably do. I need to kill this pig, and then cook him. <laughs> That's an achievement. It's called Pork Chop. Sorry, buddy. For science! You must be slaughtered. Here we are. Oh, there's a... <laughs> just random grass block. What? How can... Can grass spawn this low? I didn't think it could. Especially with no sun... No light access. Here we are. There's the surface. Let's make some more torches. This will probably be my main area. Whoa. There we are. We're starting to starve. Now I need to eat this. This should give me iron, iron belly. There it is. Iron belly. It's a 2.2%. Stop starvation using rotten flesh. I feel like more people probably would have done that on accident. But apparently not. Probably need to make more sticks. Yeah, I'm out of sticks. What's that over there? I'm not sure what that is. We could check that out later. Back to punching trees I go, I guess. But you know what? I'm looking at the time. It's about time to wrap up this episode here. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, be sure to pummel that like button, subscribe for more epically awesome content. Also, if you are enjoying the uh, hashtag hardcore series, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Other than that, peace out, guys. End video. Three, two, one. It's that man in black and green Sometimes sweet and saccharine Sometimes he bees as mad as me Insanity, persistently, forever entertaining